प्रिय विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो आपण सी ई टीचे लेक्चर सुरू करतो आहोत आणि आपला पहिला चॅप्टर आहे रोटेशनल डायनॅमिक्स आता त्याच्यामध्ये आपण एक फॉर्म्युला घेणार आणि त्याच्यावर आलेले सी ई टी नीट जे ईला कशाप्रकारे न्युमरिकल्स विचारले जातात ते आपण शिकणार आहे आणि सगळ्या पद्धतीचे आत्तापर्यंत ज्या क्वेश्चन पेपरमध्ये न्युमरिकल्स येऊन गेले ते सगळे आपण इथं घेणार आहोत तर मी दीपाली कुलकर्णी देशमुख पी व्ही पी ज्युनियर कॉलेज प्रवरा पॅटर्न लोनी माझ्या विंग्स ऑफ फिजिक्स या चॅनलमध्ये आपल्या सगळ्यांचं स्वागत करते तर बघा पहिला चॅप्टर आहे आपला रोटेशनल डायनॅमिक्स आणि त्याच्यामध्ये पहिला फॉर्म्युला आहे अँग्युलर स्पीड फॉर्म्युला टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी अँग्युलर स्पीड दॅट इज इक्वल टू टू पाय बाय टी अँड टी इज पिरियड ऑर पिरियडिक टाईम नाव वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी अँग्युलर स्पीड ऑफ ए सेकंड हँड नाव दिस इज ए वॉच अँड इन दॅट वॉच थ्री हँड्स आर देअर सेकंड हँड मिनिट हँड अँड हवर हँड अँड वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट फर्स्ट दी अँग्युलर स्पीड दिस ओमेगा दॅट इज नथिंग बट दी अँग्युलर स्पीड ऑफ ए सेकंड हँड देन फॉर्म्युला टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी अँग्युलर स्पीड दॅट इज टू पाय बाय टी टी इज दी पिरॉडिक टाईम अँड इफ ए सेकंड हँड इज देअर देन दी सेकंड हँड दॅट इज हॅविंग पिरॉडिक टाईम दॅट इज सिक्स्टी सेकंड अँड देअर फोर ओमेगा टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी सेकंड हँड दॅट इज नथिंग बट दी ओमेगा दॅट इज इक्वल टू टू पाय बाय टी अँड दिस टी इज सिक्स्टी सेकंड and 2 pi by 60 that is nothing but pi by 30 and therefore the angular speed in terms of a pi now this pi that is in radian and pi by 30 that is the angular speed of that second hand of a clock now if we substitute the value of this pi that is equal to 180 divided by 30 and at that time that is the 180 by 30 that is nothing but 6 and that is 6 if we substitute pi radian that is equal to 180 degree means that is nothing but the angular spin angular speed in degree per second means 6 is the value and if we substitute value of pi that is 3.142 divided by 30 now that calculation that is 0.1047 and that is in radian per second and if we substitute this value of pi that is equal to 3.142 divided by 30 then that is equal to 0.1047 that is in radian per second and if we substitute pi that is equal to 180 degree 180 divided by 30 it becomes 6 means this is the value of angular speed in radian per second unit and this is the value of angular speed in degree per second understood in similar manner we can calculate the angular speed for the minute hand then what is the periodic time of minute hand the minute hand completes its one revolution within the 60 minute but 60 minute that is nothing but 3600 second and therefore if we substitute here 2 pi divided by 3600 that is nothing but pi by 1800 if we substitute value of pi that is equal to 3.142 divided by 1800 then its value becomes 1.745 into 10 raised to minus 3 and if we substitute value of this pi that is equal to 180 180 divided by 1800 that is nothing but 1 by 10 that is nothing but 0.1 degree per second this is the value angular speed in degree per second and this is the angular speed in radian per second understood then our hand that our hand having periodic time 12 hour then 12 hour that is nothing but 43200 second and if we substitute 2 pi divided by 43,200 43, then it becomes 21,600 and now this is pi divided by 21,600 that is angular speed that is in terms of pi then if we substitute this pi that is equal to 3.142 divided by 21,600 
then it becomes 1.45 into 10 raised to minus 4 that is in radian per second and if we substitute this pi that is equal to 180 divided by 21600 then it becomes the 1 by 120 that is nothing but 8.33 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now last that is the oh, angular speed of a earth we know that the earth earth completes its period of earth that is nothing but 24 hour and period of communication satellite that is also 24 hour and that is nothing but 86,400 second if we substitute here that is 86,400 then it becomes pi divided by 43,200 okay now if we substitute value of pi that is equal to 3.142 divided by 43200 it becomes 7.27 into 10 raised to minus 5 and this is the angular speed in this is very important in terms of a chapter gravitation because in that case when we calculate the variation of g with latitude at that time you must know the angular speed of the earth and that is also the angular speed of communication satellite because both are having period or periodic time that is one day that is nothing but 24 hour and that is nothing but 86,400 second. Then it becomes if we substitute here the 180 divided by this one then it becomes 1 by 240 in value that is 4.17 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now we will see about the CET questions. What are the PYQ means previous year's question asked in this topic. Then for example you may ask calculate the ratio of angular speed of minute hand to second hand then omega minute divided by omega second omega minute that is pi by 1800 divided by pi by 30 that is nothing but pi by 1800 into 30 divided by pi this pi pi um, cancelled and that 30 divided by 1800 that is nothing but 1 by 60 and therefore ratio of omega minute to omega second that is equal to 1 as to 60. In this manner, the uh, question may ask in the exam. Now, next. Next numerical. Angular speed of our hand, second one, angular speed of our hand of a clock, our hand of a clock in degree per second, in degree per second is Option A is 1 by 30, B is 1 by 60, C is 1 by 120 and D is 1 by 720. This numerical was asked in MHTCT 2016. 2016. Then what is the answer? Angular speed of our end in a clock. In degree per second, our end of a clock in degree per second, that is nothing but 1 divided by 120 and that is the answer. In this manner, you can solve. Means this tabular form is very important and so you must learn that angular speed in table form, it is easy for you. Next one, the ratio of, the ratio of, next numerical. the ratio of the ratio of 
angular speed of a second hand the ratio of angular speed of second hand angular speed of second hand to the other hand to the other hand to our hand of a watch is of a watch is of a watch is option a 3600 as to 1 option b 720 as to 1 c 72 as to 1 and d 60 as to 1 and that is asked in Karnataka CET 2015 then we have to calculate the angular speed of a second hand means omega second divided by omega r omega second that is pi by 30 divided by this one that is nothing but the 21600 divided by pi and now it becomes 21600 divided by 30 this 0 this 0 that gets cancelled and that is 720 as to 1 and therefore answer is option B. Next one. Next numerical. The difference between the difference between the difference between angular speed of minute hand angular speed of minute hand angular speed of minute hand and second hand and second hand of a clock is second hand of a clock is of a clock is option a is 59 pi divided by 900 radian per second option b 59 pi by 1800 radian per second option c 59 pi by 2400 radian per second and option d is 59 pi 3600 radian per second. This was asked in MHTCT 2015. 2015. Now we have to calculate difference between the angular speed of minute hand and hour hand. Then the difference between minute hand minus the second hand omega s then minute hand that is pi by 30 my sorry minute hand pi by 1800 sorry pi by 1800 minus the pi by 30 pi by 30 this pi is taken as common and 1 by 1800 minus 1 by 30 that is nothing but the if 1800 that is taken as a LCM then it becomes 1 minus now here 60 and that becomes minus 59 by 1800 but magnitude of this that is nothing but the pi into 59 by 1800 and therefore option is the B option 59 pi by 1800. या angular speed चा formula वर या प्रकारे CET ला numericals एवु शक्तात। तर आपन असा एक एक formula गेना रे आणि त्याचा वर आधरी CET ला आलेले numericals आणि या पद्धती ने हासा जर टेबल तुमी केला तर तुमचा अभ्यास खुप सोपा होना रे। आणि कोंत्या ही format मदे तुमाला जर उत्तर विचारल मुझे in terms of pi विचारल in terms of radian per second विचारल in terms of degree per second विचारल तर ते तुमाला 
कॅल्क्युलेट करता येणार आहे आणि ते तुम्हाला एकदम सोपं जाणार आहे तर बघा तुम्हाला हा व्हिडिओ आवडला असेल तर जरूर लाईक करा तुमच्या मित्रमैत्रिणींना शेअर करा बेल आयकॉन दाबायला विसरू नका चॅनलला सबस्क्राईब करा आणि पूर्ण व्हिडिओ पाहिल्याबद्दल थँक्यू व्हेरी मच Oh, oh, oh.